I made these cute stickers and merch sets in under 10 minutes using Love Art, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. What's up, Love Arters? Welcome back to the official Love Art tutorial series. I'm your host, Vivian, and today we're gonna vibe design a San Francisco themed sticker set using Love Art in 10 minutes. So as an intern in San Francisco, I've obviously visited some of the most famous landmarks here, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Painted Ladies, and the cable cars, but I wanted something more than just taking photos, something that could commemorate my personal, unique experience here. And for me, that means stickers. I put them on my laptop, my water bottle, and even my charging brick. And because I'm interning for Love Art, I'm just gonna use Love Art to achieve this goal. I want my new sticker set to be just as cute and simplistic like my other ones, so I'm gonna write that in my first prompt. Okay, I generated the first set of stickers from my first prompt. Okay, these are so cute. I think the colors go really well together. I like how the bridge is really stylistic and personified, but I still recognize that it's the Golden Gate Bridge. It's so hard to choose, but I'm probably gonna go with this one. Now I want to think about what other elements I can include. Maybe the cable cars or other landmarks in SF. But I still want it to feel like Love Art though, so I'm gonna upload some of the elements that we already have from Love Art just to reference the color scheme and style. So let's go to the plus button and add the two images that I already prepared. That way I can make sure everything fits together visually. Lavar came back with a gold mine. These are actually so beautifully designed. I really like how they incorporated the pixelated style of Love Art itself through the background of the Golden Gate Bridge, the waters, as well as the cursors. These look like a designer actually spent hours finessing the details, but it took me just five minutes. But aside from a sticker, what else can I use it for? Maybe I should start a new product line. Maybe keychains, magnets, pins? I'm gonna try to write a prompt on that. If you want Love Art to directly reference one of the designs that it has already generated, just click on the design itself, and I'm choosing this one, and click Add to Chat. And there it goes. Love Art delivered again. These mock-ups look so real, I had to zoom in. I really love the metal pin here, look at its glossy, metallic texture. These are things I'd actually buy, or even better, things I actually would sell. Okay, what about apparel? Could I apply these designs into clothing? Let me follow up on that thought. I'm not even sure if there's an actual human designer behind this model, honestly, because look at it. The zipper detail, shaped like a cursor, that's genuinely clever. It's also attached on the back of the shoe. The backpack feels like a high-end character merch. I would actually gift it to people who love using Love Art. And the fact that this all took under 10 minutes is unbelievable. If anyone watching this works in clothing production, I'm serious. Please comment because I would love to get these produced as soon as possible. And if you're someone who's working on new merch and need creative, fresh, instant inspirations and ideas that actually work, Love Art is honestly the fastest way to get there. Full fashion concepts in minutes! Combine your city, your experiences, your vibe, and your aesthetic with Love Art. Tag us and show me what you come up with. Because Love Art stole its beta stage, you'll need an invite code to sign up. But join the waitlist on our homepage at loveart.ai and hop on the Discord to stay in the loop. I'll also leave a few codes in the pinned comment if you want to get started early. The full launch is coming later in July, and after that, anyone can join. No code needed. That's it for today's vibe design. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks for hanging out with me, Love Arters. See you in the next one.